Urinary incontinence is the inability to contain urine with involuntary leakage of urine. And there are three main types of urinary incontinence. Stress urinary incontinence, urge urinary incontinence, and a mixture or mixed urinary incontinence of stress and urge. Urinary incontinence is extremely common both in men and women as they age, and it's estimated that it affects approximately 18 million American women. The majority of women that come to my office who suffer with incontinence don't know what type of incontinence they have. So we have ways to figure out what type of incontinence they have using technology that we have in the office as well as through their history and physical examination. It depends on what type of incontinence someone has when we look at treatment options. If someone has urge incontinence, the first line of treatment is behavioral, trying to control what you consume and when you consume it in terms of liquids, as well as pelvic floor exercises that have been shown to help both urge incontinence and stress incontinence. For people with pure stress incontinence, they usually require some type of intervention such as a pubovaginal sling that goes beneath the urethra to help control loss of urine with activity. If somebody has a mixed picture, they may require both some medications and behavior changes as well as a procedure. The area of female pelvic medicine and reconstructive surgery can be complicated at times. You're dealing with complicated incontinence and pelvic organ prolapse. Those of us who are FPMRS board certified have gone on to do extra training and we do this on a regular basis. So we treat these patients regularly and it's the focus of our practice. So seeing a specialist has its benefits because we see these problems regularly.